Hi, uh, this is a video um, documentary of a uh, seal uh, engraving process. I will start by uh, developing a, uh, a content. Uh, this is a mood seal, so we need to discuss with the customer what uh, they like. Uh, so this customer named uh, Linda Ann in New Mexico, she likes uh, Wang Wei's poem, very famous uh, poet and uh, painter in uh, China, uh, Tang Dynasty, uh, China. So um, she liked the, the poem uh, with a, um, a line saying, empty mountain after rain. Uh, so we use this phrase, Kong Shan Yu Ho, meaning uh, empty mountain uh, after rain. Rain after. So this is a, a, a very poetic poem. And uh, also, um, she liked one of the seal I did for her classmate in my online class, uh, Professor Gabriel Chark in Spain, if you recall. The character Rain, Rain um, in Rain Man, the seal I did uh, earlier. Uh, so we used this character as requested by Linda, um, following the Qi Bai Shi, the master painter and the in seal engraver, uh, Qi Bai Shi style. He is very um, powerful seal artist. He, uh, his style is very powerful. So I studied his uh, um, his uh, style and uh, found this uh, after uh, exactly uh, a, uh, the way he he would uh, write and carve, and I didn't find these two characters, but I made up following the style of Qi Bai Shi. So together, um, it's a Qi Bai Shi. I will attribute this design to Qi Bai Shi style. Um, after we created this design, I made uh, some uh, uh, computer printout on, uh, with my laser jet printer. It got to be a toner printer, so you can transfer the design uh, onto the stone, the seal stone, to make a, a mirror image. You can imagine the, the image on the stone now is flipped. So you will make a correct uh, stand. So I just position it like that. And I use a special liquid called acetone. Uh, acetone nail polish remover. You can find it in nail polish supply stores. And I just pour this liquid evenly and then just rub it with a scrubber you can use a use the credit card, if you will. And I can check and see if it works. It seems working, but some margin is missing here. So the timing is very important. Uh, you can you only have 10 seconds to do it. But I can make it up sometimes uh, if the margin is not enough. It dries first. Mm -hmm. So the print now is transferred onto the stone. Of course, uh, some parts are missing. Um, sometimes I like that uh, 
in fact, sometimes uh, it got uh, too much, so we need to fine tune a little bit. Um, so I'll use a, a marker pen, make up some the missing part if necessary. Um, so you can just pen it like that. You know, no matter how detailed you prepare, the turnout will be different from the print up, the print because the carving is hand done. It's not like a laser uh, carving process. So there will be accident, accidental effects due to hand carving. So every step is a recreation process. It's a negative carving, so the, the stroke is in white. That's I like. Um, so some missing part is okay. So that now we have a design on the stone. The next I'm going to cover it following the Qibaishi. The Qibaishi style is very powerful, known as the single cut, single one stroke cut style. Everything is done supposedly in one stroke, one one knife cut. So I try to achieve that. Okay, let's do this one first first uh, character first. So empty cone Stone has a hard sand in it, so it's kind of hard to hear the hard. Can we use a smaller knife? Okay, so we, we got to uh, send. Sometimes we just have to live with that, see what happens. That's why we cannot really repeat, duplicate any seal on a different stone.
how to get this down little by little. Good to have the kind of uh, chipping, uh, irregular chipping, as uh, uh, what we call the stone and the bronze uh, flavor or taste. Jing Shi Wei, I don't know how to translate that. Literally means the taste of stone and the uh, bronze. This one's from it's a pictograph of a mountain as you can recognize probably. Chinese characters are pictographs. It has not been changed as you know for four thousand years for some characters like this mountain. Shan. Like icon, you know, what we have on the computers these days. Okay. Empty mountain. This is my favorite. I want to save that the last. <coughs> I do this one next after. Mm. Oh. And you see the variation of thickness in lines, just like calligraphy, strokes, some very thin, hair thin some thick, there's a real thing, just like writing. So we call this iron brush in uh, seal engraving art. It's not a, simply a chisel or a knife. We use it as if we're holding the brush. I was uh, looking at a picture online the other day, uh, Qi Bai Shi uh, holding a similar tour carving a stone uh, at his uh, 80s maybe. Uh, so he, he lived very long and still carving uh, till his late age. I don't know when he did he stop. I know, I know there's an artist in China um, named Ye Yiwei. He lived 90-something, still carving uh, till the last days. So uh, this can be done as a painting uh, in a lifetime, I hope. That's all I can see. Okay, this character is from Ring. So we simulate the ring drops line in the sky. So this is the sky. T -t 
the opposite direction is usually from calligraphy. We call it pushing stroke. Push all the way. Chip I should hold the same way as I do. I I uh, saw from the picture. So these two fingers, the ring finger and the small finger, serve as a brick holding the side of the stone. That kind of resists the movement from the other fingers that, that are pushing. So you have uh, control this way. like a freehand style painting, there's no way you can control everything, just leave that to chances. And the stone factor also. Some hard part. <coughs> I would uh, make a copy or uh, imp imprint to see how it looked like before I uh, continue fine tuning the design or the effect. All right, next I'm going to make a imprint to see. And where is that it is you wow. beautiful isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. The mountain could be a little a little bit bigger, I think. This side a little taller. Of course, this is not a painting, but uh, it resembles the mountain. This is the peak. The peak has to be the host. Let's make that uh, a little taller. This stroke has some sand in it, I know. It's kind of hard to touch them. Okay. I try not to touch too much to boost the kind of spontaneity. Spontaneity is very important in this kind of style. Let's make another one to see. It's more balanced, you know. Let's see. Okay, 
that's, uh, that's good. I just uh, straighten that line here so it's more squarelized. The Chibesh style is a uh, very uh, pro square kind of, uh, with corners and uh, squares, very modern and contemporary, if you will. Uh, instead of round, preferred uh, sharp corners. So I have to adapt to that a little bit. Um, in my own style, I write the round corners, if you record, but uh, Chibashi has more uh, that kind of sharpness to make the design very powerful. Okay, I'm going to make a Fisher stamp in my uh, collection book, open. Since Linda has asked uh, me to do three, so I will save room for the other ones. This is good for a um, landscape painting and can serve as a corner seal to balance the composition on the lower corners most likely but it could also be used on the side or on top with the title inscriptions Empty Mountain Rain After from the one way okay um, I like to continue with other mood seals if you um, like to watch please uh, stay tuned I will um, make another two seals for Linda the artist I'm going to show you also Linda's uh, very beautiful landscape paintings um, with this seal, it will look uh, fabulous, I hope, and also um, hope that she will get ins more inspiration from this seal to produce more uh, landscape paintings. Thank you for watching.